637 now. Have you been caught by a red light camera? You're not the only one. The cameras have brought in millions of dollars for the city of Denver since they were installed. Well, Denver 7's Jason Grinauer is joining us now. Jason, these cameras in Denver, they are not going away anytime soon. No, they're not. So far this morning, we've been keeping our eye on drivers here at 6th and Calumet, seeing how many times the flashers go off from that red light camera using our own personal radar gun to track the speed. And those types of enforcement are going to be sticking around, both the red light cameras and those photo enforcement vans, for the next five years after the Denver City Council voted to extend that company that runs them their contract, again, for the next five years after a 10 to 1 vote. All that according to the Denver Post. So we want to break down the numbers for you. This contract, it is for five years. The total cost is about $6 million. That's what the city is paying out. It costs the city about $3 million a year to run. But over the last five years, or from 2010 to 2015, the program between the red light cameras and those photo vans have brought in a whopping $45 million into the city's general fund. So the question is, does it work? Well, if you have been caught, you know that it in some cases does. But since they've been put up over that same time, Time frame 2010 to 2015, citation numbers have actually gone down every year by a certain amount of percent. So drivers are learning and they're not blowing through those red lights. The speeding, it's harder to keep track of because the vans move around. And in case you didn't know, if you get caught blowing through a red light like here at 6th and Calumet, it's going to cost you 75 bucks. You're caught speeding, it's either 40 or 80, depending on where you do it. Reporting live at 6th and Calumet, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7. Thank you, Jason.